We are likely only two patches away from Natlan, and with Natlan, I think we can reasonably assume that characters that scale with attack and or utilize pyro reactions to get some substantial upgrades. So today, I want to talk about which characters I expect to and not to get a glow up in Natlan. As a disclaimer, I don't have any knowledge on Natlan whatsoever. This video is purely speculation. Let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be operating under the assumption that the Pyro Archon provides some type of a large attack percent buffing, while also having off-build Pyro application at the same time, similar to how Freena provides large damage percent buffing while also applying off-build Hydro. With a kit like that, I think we could easily see Cryo Melt characters get a large glow up, specifically characters like Ganyu, Risley, Rosaria, Chungyun, and Kaya. With Ganyu and Risley, for example, Imagine them no longer needing to use Zhongling or scuffed burning setups for off-field pyro, and instead, now having sufficient off-field pyro from a character that's actually providing them with really good buffing at the same time. That would make a world of difference for them. So imagine you could see Ganyu now doing a team like Ganyu, Zhongli, Bennett, Pyro Archon. Or for some people with enough skill and patience, they could maybe do something like Ganyu, Shenha, Kazuha, Pyro Archon. I think something like this would easily bring Ganyu back to her former glory, while also elevating the other mentioned cryo DPS as well. Now aside from those cryo units, the other characters I expect to receive the largest globe from Natlan are Linny, Raiden, Navia, and Wanderer. Linny because he'd be able to replace Zhongling and now do a triple pyro team of Linny, Kazuha, Bennett, and Pyro Archon, with the Archon theoretically having less personal damage than Zhongling, but way more buffing, which would be great for a hyper carry like Lenny, so I could easily see that being a very substantial upgrade over his current triple pyro teams, while being more reliable than his VV vape teams. Raiden is included because currently in our Cheveris teams, the only way to refresh Cheveris' pyro shred is to use Zhongling, but if you're using Zhongling, that means you are not using Bennett, which means you're losing out on a lot of buffing. This hypothetical Archon both buffing and applying pyro at the same time would do the jobs of both Bennett and Zhongling here, so possibly even freeing Raiden from Bennett's circle impact, and I can definitely see that being a monumental glow up for Raiden. And then Navia is here because in my opinion her team is a little incomplete. You have Navia, Cherry, and Bennett, but then the fourth slot is kinda missing. Usually she uses either Farina or Zhongling, but Freena isn't at her best there since her buff is backloaded while Navia is frontloaded, and Zhongling isn't doing much there other than application for Crystallize, along with Pyro Resonance and some decent sub-DPS damage. So replacing Zhongling with an Archon that's providing a good buffing to Navia while still having application for Crystallize should theoretically be a pretty large upgrade to Navia. So most of the characters that I think would get a large glow up in Natlan, it kind of just comes down to being free of Zhongling, which I think is rather amusing, but Wanderer being here has nothing to do with Zhongling. He's here simply because he is another character that doesn't have a true definitive best fourth slot, and usually just flexes out the fourth slot depending what is best for the specific Abyss lineup. If the Archon provides really good buffing while doing respectable sub-DPS damage, I think that would definitely give him that true definitive best fourth slot that he's currently missing. Good buffing and sub DPS damage is basically what Freena does for Wanderer, but at C0 she's kinda too backloaded to truly be best, so hopefully the Pyro Archon won't be backloaded like Farina. And now, the following are characters that I think will definitely get a good upgrade, but probably not as big of a game changer for them as the prior characters. Firstly, I have Ayaka. Her melt stuff would more than likely get stronger, but I'm not quite sure how much stronger it could get. And melt for Ayaka is usually not worth compared to Freeze to begin with, but I do think Natlan would definitely make melt Ayaka a lot more appealing. Definitely don't think it would take over Freeze as her ideal team, but it could definitely get a lot better. And then there's Hydro DPS like Child, Ayato, and Nubilet. I'm not confident that Child would actually get an upgrade since every member of his team is very important there, but I think it is possible that the Pyro Archon, maybe with a constellation or two, could be an actual upgrade over Zhongling for Child, 
giving him some more room for vertical investment in the worst case scenario. Dayato, possible forward vape stuff for him, or maybe being a decent AoE Hydro Applier for the Archon to reverse vape. Nouvellet, I'm not quite sure if I should have here, but the reason I included him is because I can see his forward vaporized team getting better simply by no longer needing to run a 300 energy recharge jongling. So once again, some things are still coming back to simply being free of jongling. The one more character that I think could get an upgrade, but I'm not super confident on, is Zhao. The thing with Zhao is, right now, it seems like his team is kinda complete, and it's kinda hard to imagine him getting anything better than what he already has. The Pyro Archon would have to replace either Farina or Jian Yun, since Farazan is obviously not going anywhere. Jian Yun isn't really getting replaced there because you need the healing for Farina. And if you replace Farina, Jian Yun's value goes down a lot, since a lot of her value comes from how good her healing is for fanfare. But if the Archon has something like a team wide attack buff, then that attack buff would be increasing Jian Yun's buff at the same time as buffing Zhao. So that could theoretically make up for not having Farina anymore. I can see that possibly being an upgrade, or at worst, a good side grade. And now here are some characters I expect to receive little to no upgrades. Electro DPS like Kaching, Sino, and Yai. I don't see these characters improving because they are heavily reliant on Dendro reactions, and Pyro doesn't play super well with Dendro. The one thing I will mention though is, we do have the Burning set that was released this patch, which has 18% attack as its two-piece despite being a, a Dendro set, so that could be indicating that we will soon have a new Dendro unit that plays well with attack scaling stuff and Pyro, possibly making teams like Quick Barn and Chaos a lot better, but it's hard to say without seeing such a character. On the same note, Dendro DPS like Alhaitham and Tainari are probably not getting any upgrades, they don't work for things like Quick Barn and Chaos, so the only way they'd get an upgrade is if we actually get a Dendro character for that new set. That makes Burning a legit team archetype for these characters. Then there's also quite a lot of Pyro DPS that I don't really see getting any better as well. For example, Klee, I don't think she can get any better than her current role as a very good enabler for Forward Vape Farina. The Luke in Gaming, I also don't think it's possible for them to get any better than their Plunge Yan Yun teams. The only thing that could possibly get replaced in those teams is Bennett, but Bennett's C6 infusion is very important for them, so that's not going to happen. Plus, if the Archon has off-field pyro replication, then the vapes are going to get stolen and the entire team is going to get messed up. Hu Tao and Yoi Mia, I also don't really see getting upgrades. Hu Tao needs Bennett's healing for fanfare, so he's not going anywhere. And for Yoimiya, if you play her without a shield, I don't think she can get any better than VV Vape or Cheverus teams. And Bennett self pyro is needed for double swall, but with Cheverus teams, what pyro DPS Cheverus teams is needing is a better electro unit for their teams, not a new pyro. And a couple more up characters I don't see getting upgraded are Eula and Ito. What Eula needs is a good electro buffer and applier to use instead of Raiden, not a pyro unit. And Ito's team structure is just way too restricted. He could possibly use the Archon instead of Zhongli and rely on Crystallize for shielding, but that's kinda scuffed. So to summarize, here is a tier list summarizing my thoughts. There are a few 4-star DPS listed here that I didn't talk about because I didn't want to yap for too long. This was also specifically about on-field DPS units, so there aren't supports and sub-DPS listed here. And with all of that said, I am very curious to what your thoughts are on this. Please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Goodbye.